welcome back to the channel. So we are on a few day trip down the Oregon coast and we are at a really cool campground. So we're gonna show you guys this place and take you along down to see some redwoods. All right, so we are here at Turtle Rock RV Resort. Uh, Brittany's coworker had actually mentioned this. Thanks, because, <laughs> because why? Because at some of the RV sites, you get your own personal hot tub. And we booked one with the hot tub, also next to allowed that. allowed uh, uh, <laughs> allowed a uh, little yappy. Um, <laughs> I love dogs, but that one right there, I don't know about him. <laughs> but we're gonna take you guys down to the beach because we can walk right out to the beach to the ocean. And as you guys can also see behind us, they have these really cool cabins. And we'll talk a little bit more about that when we get back down uh, or back up to the campground in a little while. Let's take you down to the beach. So as you guys can see on our way down through the campground, there are a ton of these cabins. They are really cool. Uh, don't know off the, off the top of our head uh, how many sites they have, how many cabins, but it's a lot. And we have to actually go underneath the 101, underneath the highway, down here to the beach. So it's only about a, uh, what do you think, probably five minute walk probably. Yeah. So, but we are on the water right here as you guys saw uh, in the intro there. So we're on like a little creek river, goes underneath down to the beach. So walking here underneath the highway under the 101 and you can see the ocean is right there. So let's go check it out. So Brittany's saying that rock right there is called Kissing Rock. Yep. Can't really figure out why though. <laughs> no, I can't find any reason. I don't know, are you just supposed to kiss somebody when you go near it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but here's this nice vast beach. And let's get out here and check these waves out because they are pretty crazy today. Okay, so I just found a little tidbit from a local guide and they posted when I was a teenager back in the 70s, we all called it Kissing Rock because of its popularity as a makeout location for young lovers. Well, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's the answer. Kissing Rock, right there. So as we said, right here's the 101 that we had to go underneath from the RV park. RV park is right there on the other side. And we are coming up on the beach, as you have seen, obviously. But these waves are massive today. Huge. You do not want to be in there. No, I mean, I'm trying to guess. I, I just, I'm not, I'm not I'm a not, surfer. I'm not no. really good with wave, you know, with the heights. But I'm gonna say some of those are probably eight, ten feet. No, like no joke, like 100%. So let me sh let me show you. <laughs> so it's probably pretty loud. I don't know if this is doing it justice how big these waves are. Um, but let me zoom in here for you guys. Some of these are huge. You have one coming in right there right now. Look how big that is. And that one that's coming up on me right here. <laughs> Almost just got taken out. So. Huge waves, for sure. Um, beautiful, though. So actually right at the uh, RV resort, 
they have a restaurant on site, a Mexican restaurant. So we actually went there. We had some amazing food. It was actually really good. Um, and it was cheap too because we had in on a happy hour deal. So Between it was like two and six. Yeah. So uh, we paid two dollars per order of taquitos. Yep. And then uh, a Corona cost me two bucks. A, mar a margarita cost you six dollars. Six dollars for a, a, any flavor margarita. As always, cats are waiting for us. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Bjorn. Oh, she's up the window. Guarding the RV. <laughs> Guarding the van. Yeah. So we're back from checking out the beach. We just went and checked out the bathrooms. And they are very nice. They're all like individual style. So you have a shower, toilet, sink, you know, all that in your own in your own room. So that's pretty nice. Definitely uh, thumbs up to that. So it's not not like the Planet Fitness style. <laughs> it's the more like the Anytime Fitness style bathrooms. Which, speaking on that topic, I've had some people uh, message us about staying in shape, exercising, fitness on the road. So I am going to start doing a couple videos about that too, just about staying healthy on the road. Uh, how what we do because I. Uh, started to get a little bit out of shape between injury and just the lifestyle it's a little bit easy sometimes sometimes if you're not conscious so uh definitely throw a few videos out about that so Brittany's pretty tired but we're gonna enjoy this hot tub uh we had like uh you know our our uh, mexican food here at the restaurant uh two two thirty ish um so we're probably not gonna cook dinner. We had a good idea for dinner. We bought some stuff up, um, but we're gonna actually share that in another video. It's gonna be a cool meal. It'll be a different video uh, from a different location. But uh, <clears throat> we're just gonna hang out, kind of snack if we get hungry, and then uh, we're gonna get in the hot tub. So we'll probably see you guys here in just a little bit when we're enjoying the hot tub here at an RV resort at our own site. It's pretty awesome. How you doing, man? <laughs> so Bjorn loves to explore outside. He actually doesn't like stray from us though or anything. It's pretty good at everything when it comes to van life. This is actually the best he's done in the harness so far. But see, he's got his little tactical harness. Mama says I'm special. <laughs> Emotional support. We actually got that for Muna though. Yeah. That and was we for didn't Muna. know we would have a boy cat. But uh, Muna doesn't really like being outside. So. Nope. So uh, Bjorn gets to gets to wear the cool vest. Look how cool you look, buddy. He's so cute. <laughs> He's trying to figure it out. It's his first time in this one. And we gotta adjust it because I it's kind of fit on him weird. Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> you got a big belly, bud. <laughs> he's so big now. <laughs> so he's doing really well. Uh, he's just hanging out. Cause in his other harness he would just freeze. Yeah, he just froze, so he's actually walking. So I think he likes this one a little bit better. It's more comfortable. They say it can take a while to get them used to the, to a harness. <clears throat> like you gotta do it every yeah. day. This one's really comfortable though. It has like memory foam on the inside of it. And we can pick him right up on the top of it so, if we needed to. We just gotta adjust it a little bit. <laughs> then and see how it goes. But we're gonna hang out with him for a little bit. Let's see, let him explore and then we're gonna get in the hot tub and we'll meet you guys over at the hot tub. Well, we're enjoying the hot tub. It's getting a little chilly out now. At least chilly without a shirt on. Chilly. It's probably like, what, 40, 40 degrees or so. It's in the 50s here today, so not bad. But it's getting chillier. As you can see, the sun has started to go down. We're enjoying a hot tub at an RV park. It's really our, fun. Our own private hot yeah. tub, which is so cool. So, yeah, I mean, can't really complain. And Brittany's pretty tired. Yeah, um, like I worked I, last night. Yeah, I, did, I told him. And I, well, after we showed him the bathrooms, well, I didn't go in and show him the bathrooms, but walked over there and uh, told him about the bathrooms. So, 
So she's pretty tired, so it's only like 5.30, 6. Yeah, and, it's almost uh, 6. So she's going to enjoy this for a little bit, and then Brittany's going to get to bed probably. Because we're going to get up early in the morning. We're actually film some content for another video. And uh, then we're going to be headed down, uh, like we had said, to see some redwoods. So we're going to head in, cross into California, and uh, see redwoods for the first time. So this is pretty exciting for us, and I think you guys will enjoy coming along with us, seeing the redwoods, to see how the echo does going through through the forest there. We don't really have a game plan yet. I'll figure that out tonight. Um, but we'll take you guys along. So we will see you guys in the morning. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see. 